I'm Marina Elliott. I'm a postdoctoral research fellow here at Pitts University. My role in the Rising Star, I was originally one of the first excavators uh, for the project in November 2013. And I finished my PhD and was lucky enough to get a postdoc here as well. So since November 2013, I've been doing research and continuing to work with the Rising Star material. No, I'm from Canada originally um, and, and moved here for the postdoc. Yeah. What I'm doing at the moment actually is preparing the fossil material to be moved out to Marapeng to the museum there. Part of that is in preparation for the scientific announcement and then the fossil material will actually stay out there for public viewing. So all of the material has to be packed up very carefully and moved out to that area. It's very fragile as you can imagine so we have to be extremely careful. So that's basically I'm cutting little spots for every single fossil that we're moving out there and we're not even taking I think probably a third of the material out. We're just sort of taking some of the more more impressive looking material out. Yeah. The grand total for the Rising Star material is, I think we're somewhere around 1,700 specimens at the moment. Moving out for the launch, we're going to actually be moving somewhere just under 550 pieces. Yeah, what we're actually going to do is build a composite skeleton. Uh, we have basically the entire body represented among somewhere around 15 individuals. Um, not all nicely associated, but what we're going to do is build a representational skeleton for everyone to see and then we're going to sort of supplement that with some of the other bones that we have that are, are more complete. So it, I think it will look pretty amazing. Security obviously is very tight for this. Um, this material uh, is irreplaceable, so uh, we want to be very, very careful. There's not much of a market for it, but we don't want to lose it or have anything terrible happen to it. So we actually have, um, yeah, the, as you can imagine, this material is, is quite precious. Um, so moving it out to Maripang, we want to be extremely careful. So we are actually loading all of this material, not just into these boxes, but we will be escorted by police all the way out to Maripang and back again. So there will be six scientists, uh, full security, and yeah, quite a, a blue light contingent. <laughs> I feel uh, quite privileged to, to have not only been part of the excavation, but to have been at a point in my career where I could actually continue on with the research and be part of the ongoing description and analysis of the material. Um, I think it's quite unusual actually to have been part of the excavation crew and now fully into the research end of it and continuing on. We have, you know, other sites that we want to work on and, and continuing. I mean, it's basically a lifetime's worth of work for innumerable researchers. So it, yeah, it's, um, it's very exciting and, and quite a privilege to be part of, yeah. I think it was amazing um, for, you know, six individuals who didn't know each other beforehand, who were all brought together, you know, very, very quickly and then thrown into a team of, you know, somewhere between 40 and 50 people for an incredibly intense month of work. I think we did brilliantly. Um, we all got along really well. Um, we worked in shifts in teams. So um, yeah, it was a really, really nice atmosphere.